also another unboxing today and you can see here we have something from GANS and so this is the newly released Rubik Speed Cube um, and this one happens to be the limited edition Paris version and if you're interested in getting it then act quickly because I think they do still have a few more on the site and so along with this cube we also have some bags um, and so we also got this manual thingy that comes with all the GANS puzzles um, so this one is just the normal blue GANS velvet bag and this one is special for the cube. You can see it has 2017 World Championships Paris. And so inside we have the tensioning tool for the puzzle and also a numbered card. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into the puzzle. Um, so if you don't know, this is the new collaboration between Rubik's and Gans. And uh, I'm honestly not really too sure what to expect from this cube. Uh, I've, I've seen some videos on it and it looks pretty good. But I'm not really too sure if it's anything main worthy. Let's see here. Trying not to rip anything. All right, so here is the puzzle. Let's just go ahead and take it out of this bag. All right, so here is the cube. Right away, it has those classic Rubik's shades. And uh, I really do like the feeling of these tiles, actually. It feels very smooth. Um, you can see here it has the limited edition center logo on there. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and see how this cube performs. Oh wow, um, oh gosh, that's really good actually. But wow, I'm just really, really impressed. So this is a collaboration between Rubik's and Gans, um, but I think the fact that Rubik's has any affiliation with it is the reason why I'm just so blown away right now, just because, I mean, you think of a Rubik's cube and you just don't think of a very good or viable speed cube. But yeah, it certainly performs pretty well, but I don't think it's gonna beat out any GTS 2 or Vault for me. Um, but I mean, if it shows up in retail stores and just on the shelf, it's gonna be a really great option for those of you just getting into speed cubing. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out the corner cutting. Um, it does a decent amount. It's not doing a whole lot, but you really don't need too much. And uh, oh, tensions actually look pretty loose, so that's kind of surprising. But yeah, I believe this one comes with the GES springs in there. Um, so yeah, it comes with, equipped with the yellow ones, and I don't believe um, it came with any other sets. So, I mean, it's fine. It performs very well for how it's set up right now. Um, and so the actual feeling, definitely very reminiscent of the GANS puzzles. It's super, super smooth. It feels very soft. And so you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of GANS puzzles, um, but I think the fact that it aesthetically looks more like a Rubik's branded cube I'm just liking it a little bit more because I have lower expectations for it. So we'll just go ahead and check out the mechanism here. So here's the edge and wow, it has a really weird uh, torpedo system going on. Um, so you can see here, it, it, the pieces actually don't have screws like the normal Gans cubes, um, but it's not just gonna pop out anytime soon, it feels like. It also has these kind of weird square holes etched into the pieces and I'm not too sure what that does. I imagine just gives it a uh, kind of lighter feeling like all Gans cubes. So in terms of the mechanism, I can definitely tell that Gans played a huge role in designing the cube. Um, but like I said before, I don't think it's gonna beat out anyone's three x three main. Um, it's certainly a good cube and another great speed cube option for those of you getting into the hobby, um, but definitely nothing too revolutionary or for a professional speed solver. So if you're a collector, then this would definitely be a really great piece to have. And uh, the limited edition ones are running out on these sites, so be sure to act quickly. And uh, that about wraps it up for this unboxing. So if you guys have any other questions regarding this cube, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.